Welcome back everyone to the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. I'm your host, Ultimate Mocha Love. And right now, we are getting attacked on quite a large front. So, off screen, the Mashriki Kingdom rose up and took Amman, or I guess Jordan and part of Syria away from us and Beirut and Lebanon. So this is basically where we're at right now. The Kami, or the Radical Socialists, French have decided to send some tanks apparently over. And overall, we're holding the line okay. <clears throat> but, we'll see what happens. Actually, I'm going to stretch out this, the cavalry line as pretty much all the way down to Baghdad just in case so that our guys can move down as much as possible if they need to. But we have a focus to do. We can reduce the land tax, develop Mesopotamia. Hmm. What do we want to do? I would like to fight this, but we need to finish ODPA. We could use some more stability. We could use some of this stuff, but these are just pretty much all blueprints. That extra population actually would be really nice, but that's like over 120 days away. Oh, no. That's 112 days away, actually. So, uh, it's not too bad. This actually wouldn't be bad either. Ooh, I do want to do this stuff, but I really just want to f get this stuff done here, so. Reduce the land tax. The land taxes were raised in hope of generating funds for the federal government. While it helped in the short term, it has taken a toll on us in the long term. We must reduce these taxes and give more money back to the people so they can stimulate the economy by spending more, 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 and a little bit more. Cool. So hopefully we can hold here. As you can see over here, we have a, um, well, we're just convoy rating a little bit. Oh boy. And we've got a couple comments to go through as well, so. Actually, look at that. Ah, oh, convoys. I love it. Also, with the Ottomans, I forgot again. You gotta re manually research transport ships so you can navally invade. I was gonna send my horses to invade Alexandria and Cairo, but that didn't happen. So, yeah. They're not looking too good over here, are they? Hopefully the Germans get in here and help us out. Oh, uh, let's see. A couple comments to go through. Oh, boy. Y'all y'all getting attacked like crazy. Oh, that's been... I'm glad I researched that. But I almost clicked on this. But let's go ahead and... we probably gonna have to navally invade eventually, so... My goal is just to hold the line as best as possible until these guys begin themselves enough just so that we can have enough time to uh, <clears throat> attend to other matters. There you go, good. Uh, let's see, they do have like four divisions up here, which is, I'm glad they're not attacking, but I'm kind of surprised that they aren't. 31, that is not looking good over there. So, horsey boys, you get, because you're so fast, usually, you can do that. Um, a little concerned over here. A little concerned, not gonna lie. <clears throat> then again, they do have tanks, so what do we expect? Oh, oh, oh. Even if we lose that tile, it's not, not too bad. I just don't want to lose Baghdad. That doesn't seem like a really good idea if we lose it, so... Let's see, losses. 10,000 versus 30,000 so far. Not bad. Uh, the Persians do have quite a big manpower pool, so we got to be careful about that. Uh, do we have any planes, we might be asking ourselves? Yes, a few, yes. Uh, the tactical bombers are up here, so I'm going to send you guys down to Baghdad. Help out right there. We have a few fighters here as well. Which could prove to be very beneficial. But it would help if we got it closer to the air range, so. Please don't lose. I do not want to do forced defense. Oh, 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 we lost that tile. Actually, we might be able to beat, beat them back, though. But then we'll lose this tile as well, which is going to really suck. Alright, you guys just hold. Yeah, that's not going to go very well for us. Now, is it? Why don't you guys get up there? Uh, get back over there. If I have to retreat from... Actually, this is holding... This line is holding fairly well since we put the tactical bombers here. And this does give us a pretty good defensive line, so... Just give us some time to get our soldiers over there. Just hold for now. I don't want to lose any extra soldiers. I do not want to lose any extra soldiers. Just defend. Kill off all these other Middle Easterners as much as we possibly can. And we have volunteers from Germany and Austria, as you can tell, so... Uh, are we out of weaponry? Yes, we are. Which is not very good. And I'm going to cut down another division just so we have enough weaponry to, to share... Share the weaponry, please. Share the resources. Uh, oh, I want you to retreat into here. I, we can, we still technically can't afford to lose this tile, so I'm gonna blow you early. Just go wherever. This is all one big old defensive line, so <clears throat> let's take a look at the manpower. Well, not a, of us, but these guys. Oh, actually, they don't have that much in Persia. Saudi Arabia has not that many. You guys have, don't have that many. Egypt has the most, so. Just gotta be a little bit careful. Alright. Get in there, boys. Don't lose alms, because that would be really, really bad, because that's actually a good mountain province to defend in, so. This is not good, but let's get some more organization first. I don't think they'll be naval invading, so I'm actually gonna get rid of this group here, so. There you go. Get in the battles, boys. Shift some soldiers down and around. And defend, 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 for the love of God, defend. Allah says defend. You best defend. I do have any upgrades, actually. We'd have 100 command power. 
And like I said, a couple comments. Uh, we're going to go with Ambusher first, and then we'll probably go with Scavenger, because we could really use all the equipment we can get. So a couple comments. Uh, someone says, I'm probably going to rage again, like, I uh, in the desert. Yeah. I have played, as as someone said, I should play Kaiserreich as the Ottomans. I have played this once, and it was confusing and a little aggravating. So someone also said, yep, can't wait till Mr. Mokolova rages again in the desert. Well, you're not wrong. I'm probably going to end up raging, but we'll see what happens. You know, I'm going to try to keep a, an okay mind about things, so... Abolish the Altin Standardi. Standardi. By abolishing the Altin Standardi, the gold standard, we will rely on a more stable currency that doesn't fluctuate in value based on how much gold is worth. We get more political power. Lose political power for a year. Consumer goods is not bad, but hmm. Sunni negotiator debt. Anything else here? Not really. I would like to go to a war economy. Oh, we still can't go. To wow, we can't even go to a war economy? Wow. In the meantime, I might just go to limited conscription just in case. And I'm glad I grabbed this guy for more attack and defense for infantry. Holy crap. That was really a smart thing I did there. Oof. All right. Any more boys lost? Hopefully. Hopefully. And Triple Italian revolted too, so. I think this is going to be the one major war that we're going to have to deal with. It is 38, though. So let's grab some better artillery, shall we? There's no point to attack. Just soak up all the damage. Just defend, defend, defend. Eh, skirmisher. Eh, that's okay stuff. We don't really have any other upgrades, really, so that's okay. And my goodness, these guys are 131,000. Not bad. Yeah, I don't see the point of attacking right now. And our ships are doing fairly okay. Do, oh, do our admirals have anything? I did split up all six subs into each of their own little task forces, so. Ooh. Enemy fleet. Yeah, these guys will be pretty large anyway, so we'll just go with Lone Wolf and Smoke Screen. So if any ships get hurt, we'll still do okay. And Hussein Rauf Pasha? Pasha? Not bad, not bad. Well, it looks like we're holding the line now, for the most part, so. Except the Austrians and Germans just love killing their own manpower off. Hey, Aust I love Austria. Yes, yes, Austria. Hmm. This one has me a little bit worried, though. A little bit. Just a little bit. Treaty of Belgrade signed. Very cool, very cool. Nice. Keep holding, keep holding. They're learning a lot. Um, can we have those supplies back? We could really use them. Cool. And we can only get 1.26 political power every single day. You know what? We could probably use some some of this. That'd be pretty good. It's just because, uh, yeah, we get more defense on core territory, so when we do that, at least. And by us not attacking, we can make more guns. I love the guns. Never enough guns. Oh, the Russian Soviets are still up there, huh? Ah, Bulgaria is nice and small. That plays, uh, France sometime. And someone recommends we try Insul India and Kaiserreich. We'll see. We'll definitely see. We'll get there eventually. <sighs> Come on, guys. Keep attacking. Are those French and someone else? Okay, so we have that done, which is really, really good. Our navy isn't super great, and there's other things we need to do. F oh, we don't even have motorized yet. God dang. Hmm. Let's grab this for self since we're immediately using them. Motorized would be nice. <sighs> oh, good, 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 good. Let's do the OPD8 negotiations. This will be good. We need to end the ODPA. If we're to pay, ever pay off our debts to foreign powers, we must begin to negotiate our debts with them. Yes. Hopefully they will agree to it, and we can hopefully get out of our debts. Eventually. Alright, so what do we have here? Infantry, drill, defense would not be bad. I probably need to go with offense. Oh, if, wait, no offense, though. 10% more defense, speed. Well, obviously that one would probably be the best. Um, hmm. 20% ground support. God dang. Wow. I love the construction speed. Where are we We're not building any more military factories? Okay, then. Uh, where are we building this? Adana? 50%. Um, I guess we... Yeah, why not? Why not? We could use a few more military factories to make more, a few more guns. A few more pieces of artillery. A few more interwar bombers. <clears throat> However, I would like to lower this as well. Ooh. But we can build factories faster. I really like that. I really, really like that. Infrastructure plus 20%. Not bad. Uh, 5% and 15. 15 and 5. Well, we're building military factories now anyway, so... Eh, and our friend def defense is okay right now, too. I think just for this one, we want to go to limit exports next. Alright, for the most part, they stopped attacking in most areas. Let me get some more supplies. Oh, yes. Take some attrition. Yes, please. Yes. Nope, never mind. They're still attacking like crazy. Good. Very good. And I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Mmm. Yum yum. 
All right, so take a look at their manpower, perhaps. We're getting tons and tons and tons of army XP. <clears throat> Obviously, this is us. We're the spicy sporkers. Uh, let's look Egypt has way less manpower than before. Yeah, those are British... The Brits and the radical soldiers are helping each other out. All right. And they have 46,000 left. They're on extensive conscription. Russian Civil War ends. Ah, the Mushri Kingdom is has no more guys. Uh, by Ghazi the first, so you should die. And then the Persians have now probably mobilized a little bit more, and they have a little bit more manpower. So it's all right. It's all right. Cool. And actually, I'm going to make one division cancel. Oh, man. Cancel on these. Because I was going to convert these guys to infantry. Whatever divisions we use, they got to be good. Nice. Let's just grab some more output. I don't care if it's ahead of time or not, so. Keep attacking us, come on. Oh, look at that. Upgrades. Let's see. Winter, uh, winter Expert. He's level 4. It's not bad, but still. Alright, so. We can't do a whole lot here. We might consider getting anti-tank. Oh, what do we have here? Missing equipment? Oh, we don't have... Oh. Oh, boy. Hmm. There you go. Unless we did that, we need that one. We need to get rid of ODPA. So let's go do enforce the rule of law, perhaps. Get more. Oh, but more manpower would be nice. But we're already mobilizing a little bit more, so. <sighs> Political power, research speed. I want to I wanna fight the corruption as much as possible, but maybe we'll do this one. The Messidian reforms. While the old guard may show resistance to these reforms, they are a necessary step in rebuilding our country. Who cares that we're at war? We just need reforms. Just more reforms. Actually, well, we, oh, we could use more bonds. We could use more war support, too. Oh, we could use more fuel. Oh, boy. Hold on. So, where do we buy fuel from? Mm. I love Romania. There we go. That should help us out a little bit more. Keep making those military factories, son. Oh, they're attacking with quite a vengeance, I would say. Uh, I don't really think I have anyone really to spare. I need you to retreat and get up here, please. That'd be great, because these guys are looking not too good. I don't want to do this. I definitely don't want to do that. And I can't force these guys out of here, so... Oof. This is going to have disastrous consequences if we keep doing that. Wait, where are the horses? Oh, are you guys heading over there? No. No, you're not heading over there. Hmm. Yeah, Austria, I don't know why you keep attacking like that. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Move, move. God dang it, you piece of garbage horses. Actually... Uh, I want to attack there, but that's just not strong enough yet. Mustafa, let's go with... Let's go with Infantry Expert, just because we're probably going to need that later on. Good. Good, 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 good. Now they're going to attack some more. Attack again. Keep attacking Baghdad. I, I refuse to like, lose Baghdad. I refuse to lose it. Six days left. Good. Good, 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 good. Hey, you're looking good on artillery. Nice. Very nice. Actually, these horses, I think I made them 20 combat with, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Not bad. And they have engineers and artillery, so... Not too shabby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guns? Who needs more guns? Who needs updated guns? We just want to build stuff faster. Anything else? I'm always looking for upgrades, man. Always looking for upgrades. Let's see. Oh, Russia! Russia! We send you volunteers, and you send volunteers to our, to our enemies? Really? Oh, wait, maybe we might be in vain. Hmm. Actually, what are you guys looking like? Are you guys okay? You're only 18 combat width. We don't have enough artillery for me to put artillery in there, and they just keep attacking like crazy, so there's no point to really push for anything else. So, let's go ahead and do, hmm, enforce the rule of law, how about that? What is law must be obeyed. There's no way around that. If our politicians do not follow his rule, we can expect the people to as well. We will enforce this rule in hopes of taking another step towards an effective governing body. Now, I'm, I'm kind of hesitant, actually, just because I would like to do, or get more political, uh, I want to get more stability first and then do that, but it looks like we can't get it, so we must do this one. Stability is very nice. God dang Russians. We literally bleed and die for you, and then this is how you pay us back. Wow. That's all I can say, just wow. Well, we've killed off almost half a million people so far. We've lost 110,000 boys, which is not very good. But as long as your navy's doing fine, fine, fine. Corrupt bureaucracy. Oh, right, something re. Oh, look. It's a battle cruiser. Nice. The notoriously widespread corruption in the Ottoman bureaucracy is a long-established phenomenon. 
Over the centuries, low wages and even lower moral standards of Ottoman government officials resulted in a gradual acceptance and normalization of bribery as a means of income. Legitimized under terms such as hidye and kaiz, corruption became so commonplace that several Ottoman sultans were recorded to having accepted bribes. Many efforts to curtail corruption were made over the centuries, none of them successful. Unfortunately, it seems that our coordinated efforts to end bribery are about to meet the same fate. The reforms we instituted, which include new laws and severe penalties, are being casually disregarded by the old head of bureaucrats, almost all of whom feel quite feeling quite secure in the entrenched positions of the government. Several reports we have received indicate that any ta action taken against these corrupt officials is quickly covered up by complicit superiors and high officials. It appears that eliminating corruption will not be an easy task. Reinstitute the anti-bribery oath, an effective administration. It has been several months since we formally adopted the metric system and the standard Ottoman script, but we're still receiving troubling reports from incompetent bureaucrats being completely unable to use the new standards of measurement. While dozens of nearly illiterate government officials have been discovered after they had proven incapable or proved incapable of deciphering the new forms of official writing. It appears that the full implementation of these reforms will take more time than anticipated. Which makes sense. You can't just, you know, force reforms in and then just like, oh, why, aren't, why isn't anyone using it yet? Because it takes time. Things take time. Things always take time. And if they don't take time, I'm a little suspicious of them. That's a slow, gradual process. I hope we kill off a lot of Brits and a lot of uh, French here. Jesus Christ, guys. I know they were our enemies in the Entente, but still. But still Reno's. Nice. Yeah, we definitely gotta lower um this. Yeah. Nice. Even though that doesn't help us here at all. It gives us a little bit more steel, which is really quite important. Quite important. Could use more bombers. Interference in the courts. In the former days, local administrators and military governors could freely interfere with the illegal proceedings. <clears throat> And sometimes even upturned court decisions, such interference coupled with corruption, quickly gave rise to injustice and public discontent. And although, uh, with our judicial reforms, we aim to prevent any such events from occurring again in the future, we're still receiving petitions from aggrieved, uh, aggrieved partisans, or not partisans, peasants, dealing with high-level interference in courts of law. Who dares to interrupt justice? People who do not want to see justice done. And right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a lot more artillery and then make our divisions, our infantry divisions, uh, like 19 combat with, so we can throw, replace one infantry battalion with an artillery piece. So, uh, that saves a little bit of manpower, not that much, but it saves just a little bit. And it saves us guns, so we can make uh, more divisions. And especially more cavalry divisions. Actually, for you guys, we'll maybe boost you up as well. You can have that artillery piece if you like. Good, and ports rule of law, because we need that. And screw it, we'll just go with this as well. Actually, how many mountaineers do we have? We're only three, so that's not too bad. All right, so we have to wait for the debt or something. So, educational reforms, battle inequality. How do we, like, fully do this? Battle inequality, I'd like to do that, but educational reforms. Illiteracy is widespread in the Ottoman Empire, and the few imams helping with the reading of the Quran cannot make a big difference. The state needs to create more schools and secularize them for Christians and Jews. Uh, let's see. Oh, it has to be after 1942. Prerequisites. Or they have to be at war with each other. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, guys. Yeah. I'm completely out of support equipment, so just please pay me off. Cool. We got enough guns now, too. Nice. Now, I, I want to wait and see. Right now, we have our cavalry here, and they're helping to hold the line. If I remove them, can the line still hold? That is my big question. Well, it's still looking a little scary, especially down here in the western part. With 30%-ish. Oh, guys. I ran out of a support equipment again. Oh, no. What am I going to do? There you go. <laughs> Actually, that we can lower it by one more just because... I could use tanks, but I don't feel like it in this campaign. Uh, there you go. Because we want to cut them down. Because we're going to replace some of this with our, more artillery anyway. So, and we'll get some guns back too. So. Uh, 118, 120 is not enough. Garrisons... Actually... Oh, construction speed is nice. It's not bad. Garrisons were okay. Uh, let's get some more of this. 1939. Uh, we might as well do that one since it's basically for us. So, I would love to attack, but that's probably quite a few guys here. I wonder where are. Oh, actually, we might be able to take out Tripoli first. Take just navally invade and take out their victory points. How many divisions? Is that one to five. That's not bad. Our horses are not that bad either. So, what? Oh, I turn around. And uh, they keep attacking. Okay. I'm ready to pay off the debts, man. I am so ready to pay off the debts. But 
Ottoman foreign policy? Sure. Now that we've finally fixed all the issues plaguing our nation, we can start to look outwards once again, whether that means expansionist policy or more diplomatic policy. Cool. We get some more political power. Let's improve working conditions so we can get some more stability that way. And yeah, not bad. I'd love to pay off the debt, but please? We we've completed the negotiations, but no one wants to negotiate with us. It's big sadness hours. So how much would it take for me to do this? We'd have minus, holy crap, minus 1,200. Wow. There you go. Nope, oh crap. Well, that's technically wrong, so inf. There you go, rename. I want to duplicate this. There you go. Cool. And we'll slowly convert our guys over. So we got that done. I think it's time for us to get the Ottoman High Command. That would help us out a little bit more. So, readjusting army tactics. Clearly, the tactics we used in the Valkyrie did not work. We must adapt to the modern way of fighting and change our doctrines accordingly. Which is a smart thing to do. Actually, for you guys, go ahead and come over here too. I don't trust Triple Atania. Oh, can we come down to the Red Sea? I don't think we can. But we'll try it. You know, we'll try it. Yeah, they just keep attacking and attacking. Which is, hey, that's totally fine with me. You know? If they want to kill their own guys off, you know, let them. Just let them. We got 1,100 guns in reserve. That's enough for now. I want more interwar bombers, actually. There you go. Because we even have fighters, too. Advanced machine tools are very nice. Extraction would not be bad. Can we really afford that, though? Engineers? We got some better engineers, actually. Land auction? Are we doing that? Which is very good. Uh, motorized? I want to make this, but let's get some motorized first. Nice, let's grab some armor operations, even though we're not using armor in this campaign for now. And, oh, I could do that, but it costs a little bit more, I think, to make that, so we're not going to do that yet. I want to get as much artillery as po humanly possible first. Alright, so let's take, let's try this. Ooh, ooh, they're still suffering down here, even without us. Oh, yeah, it's not looking good over there. Yeah, they're definitely getting more strength in, in uh, Egypt. They have a little bit more manpower. They went to service by requirement. This guy's went to extensive conscription, so they got way more guys. Not bad. And Triple Atonia, how are these guys doing? Cool. Oh, there goes Mexican Junta. Oh, there goes those guys. Nice. Keep building us up here. Uh, there's really no other place we could really build us up to. Well, negotiate German ODPA payments. Yes, please. Nice. Adjusting army tactics. Attack. Ooh. Armenia? As much as I'd love to, I don't think it's a smart decision for us to do that right now. Uh, we still gotta wait, so... The Ottoman High Command. The Ottoman High Command, to put it bluntly, is a bunch of old men who are too focused on the past to change with the times. We must add some more young generals in hopes of changing... and hopes of sparking change, yeah. Oh. Well, tr Oh, what happened here? Austria, what did you do to yourself? Seriously, what the heck did you do? This looks disgusting. Does Transylvania have unique focus tree? Mm, does not look like it's new. They're all, they're all subjects of the uh, Austrians, so good luck with that, I guess. Alright, up here, let's uh, finally work on me. Thank goodness. Maybe we can make some more stuff here. Or maybe speed up construction of stuff as well. Alright, so what happens if I... Mm, we still might do okay without them here, so... And they might actually be more enticed to attack us, so I'm going to pull you guys out here. I'm just going to pull you out here just in case, as a fallback line if we continue to get attacked. Um, infantry, we're... Well, technically, technically, these aren't infantry. These are cavalry divisions, so we should still be able to use ambusher and not infantry experts. So I'm going to go with ambusher for this one. We're negotiating German ODPA, OPD8 payments. At the current rate, it'll take us until 1949 to pay back all of our debt to Germany, but our top diplomats suggest there might be another way. With the recent trouble Germany finds itself in, maybe we can reach a deal to forego the interest and pay only the principal we owe to them. This one-time payment could potentially be made in the form of oil rights, supplies, or consumer goods, all of which they badly need right now. Offer oil rights in Mosul, offer consumer goods. Declare a default? Yeah, I don't know about that. Offer consumer goods? We'll offer them consumer goods. Because they could probably use it for the war effort. Oh, well, they must have accepted that because they, yep, they accepted negotiation. Faced with an implied threat of un unilateral default, the German Empire was forced to accept their terms and acknowledge the end of OPDA payments. Awesome. So we lose some consumer goods for now. Doesn't matter to me. Don't really care too much, actually. Economists, captain of industry. Mm. 
quickly. Oh, let's see. What do we have here? Attack defense. Plus 50 for more soft attack. Oh, artillery. I love artillery. Motorized. Ooh. A different type of artillery. Look at that. Not bad. Recognize infantry equipment. You get more stuff all around. More attack and breakthrough. Defense is already pretty good. We get soft attack. I want to maximize artillery soft attack, so. Because if you look at your divisions here, an infantry... Actually, let me get one of these guys here. So if infantry has 6.6 .6 more soft attack, while these guys have 34.5, getting 10% more soft attack isn't a huge number, but, you know, 10%, you know, 5% for infantry is not much, so... I don't know, I just... You get just a little bit more soft attack, increases their damage just a little bit more. Now I'm waiting for them to attack one more time, just to assess how hard they would attack us. And actually, oh, can we still win here with what we have? For the most part, yes. Which is very, very good for us. Because now, I'm going to launch a naval invasion of these guys. Ottoman High Command, very good. That should help us out. We're developing battle plans, planning speed, not bad. Uh, I want that extra manpower. I would love to grab this, though. Prepare for Desert War, so that's going to take some time. Let's grab this one. Preemptive mobilization. With tensions rising again once across the globe, we must begin to mobilize so we can prepare for any upcoming war. So, alright. Let's go one, two. We'll go two, two, two. Three twos. We'll go from Rhodes. One, two, three. Let's go all the way down to Tripoli. If, oh, we go one, two, three. That's fine. One, two. Because I want to capitulate them. They're not that big of a threat. But this would open up another front against Egypt, and maybe we could help, like, hold the line here, and they could continue to attack us or something like that, maybe? Actually, hold on. Ooh, this is risky. This is quite risky. All we have to take out, actually, is Egypt. Hmm. If we could land a few dudes on their line, actually, if we could take Port Said, that would literally cut them all off here, except for the port here, but then there are these convoys, which would not be bad. Get to, we're going straight for Cairo. Take out Cairo, get to Mesa Ma Maruta, and maybe go to Aswan, maybe. And if that's the case, we're going to stop making divisions over there. I'm going to put you right here just because we're going to need extra invasion forces to help out. So, Alright, so looking pretty good. Not too bad. We've got enough of that. I'm going to convert, let's see, how many of you guys are here? Can I convert all of you guys to this? Oh, did I not change it yet? Oh, whoops. Yeah, duh. There you go. Even more soft attack. There you go. Now they're attacking some... Oh, boy. I mean, they're making more divisions, too, but for now we can hold the line pretty darn well. But by doing that, we hurt our artillery, but that's okay. Nice. Not bad. We got more guns now. And we got some more support equipment, which is pretty good. Infantry plus one. Can we throw some engineers on? Oh, that would really hurt us, but that's okay. Just doing that anyways for now. Hey, Germany. You know what? Screw it. What if you did that to, for everyone? Goodbye, Turkestan. We would really not have enough here. That's okay, though. We have enough guns to cover it for now. And hopefully Germany and Austria-Hungary will continue to give us more and more. So that's my hope. Let's grab some more research speed. Thank you. And, oh, let's just do the negotiations with these guys. The Austro-Hungarians. Debt payments are gone. Great. Not bad. Really not bad. Wow, look at that. So they're going to keep attacking us. We're going to keep killing them off. Uh, look, exports from uh, Ottoman High Command. I love it. I love the High Command. Planes, not bad. Not bad. I think I'm just going to keep making more, like, infrastructure and civilian factories eventually. So any boost we can use for that would be great, 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 great. Anyone have upgrades? Yes. Mehmet, yes. But nothing I really care about. You're level 5. Holy crap. Simil? Is that, is that Simil or something like that? Scavenger. Yeah, definitely get Scavenger. So we get more guns and such. Nice. Alright, let's grab developing battle plans. By planning better before we attack, we will more effectively be able to commit to those attacks. Which, honestly, I should be focusing more on the industrial side for now, but whatever. I want to maybe get at least one more division here before we actually decide to attack. Maybe. Alright, so we've killed off over 1.2 million. Renegotiating Austrian payments. At the current rate, it will take us up until 1954 to pay back all of our foreign debt to the Austrians. But our top diplomats suggest there might be another way. With the recent troubles that Austria finds itself in, maybe we can reach a deal to forego the interest and pay off only the principal we owe to them. This one-time payment could be potentially made in the form of weapons, supplies, or consumer goods, all of which they badly need right now. Consumer goods. They accept. 
Faced with the implied threat of unilateral default, the Austrian Empire was forced to accept our terms and acknowledge the end of OPDA payments. Nice. Oh yeah, they've definitely raised their description level. Uh, so have they, so... The OPDA dissolves. Great! A grand ceremony was hailed today in Constantia. As a prestigious public university, Mektab e Mukie e Sahana, I obviously don't speak Turkish like I said in the last video, officially moved to the inner building once used as the headquarters of Ottoman Public Debt Administration. After half a century of humiliation, we've finally broken free of our chains. No longer shall we pay tribute to the European states, and no longer shall we let them dictate our nation's course through history. Since the OPDA was officially dissolved, our treasury has been experiencing a remarkable influx of funds, and numerous projects await our approval. Onwards to a new future. Great, great, great. Happy 1940, everyone. Let's... Yeah, we can do that. Let's get some more defense first, shall we? Nice. And how much longer... Actually, what are we going to do two here, then? Motorized would be cool to have. Oh, yeah, they definitely love attacking still. Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. We're still getting some support coming, right? Hopefully... 69. Maybe not. Yeah, look at those horses. Oh, good lord. Alright. Infiltration. Less supply consumption. Alright. And, uh, maybe we can, go. we can try it. Well, you know what? If this doesn't go well, we'll probably see a fade and fade out. Cool. Let's see what happens. Don't tell me they're not guarding the ports. Okay, they're not guarding the ports. I love it. Go ahead and cut those guys off in the west. Boom, boom. And get back here. You guys immediately attack Cairo. Support the attack. Support it. Wait, where are you going? Son, where are you going? Uh. Oh, actually, we don't need you to do that one. There you go. You can help hold the line against these guys here. And. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to need you guys to force the attack. We, we can't wait for this. We got to Cairo now. Good, we got it. Oh! Okay, we won! That was probably the easiest time I've ever had to fight these guys. We killed off so many of them. So, yeah, I'm just going to straight up take everyone. It's going to result in a lot of uh, bad feelings, but you know what? I knew about the strategy before, but I forgot to invest in what we needed. As long as you take Cairo, that's all you need. I love it! <laughs> Alright then, not bad. Yeah, we need way more guns because of uh, resistance stuff. That's fine. Motorize has got, even gotten a little bit, so. Um, we're gonna need more support equipment too. Arabian League standoff. Alright, let's take a look at this. Okay then. Uh, garrisons? Uh, how about we do this? These are the real garrisons. Oh wait. Um, there we go, duplicate. Gary. There we go. Cool, not bad. And... You just take those things off, because they don't help with suppression, I think, so... There you go. And can we do anything else here? We have no other option. We don't have, like, a lo local autonomy, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, do we get an option to release them as puppets, or... Well... I had a long time coming. It's probably really bad for supply, actually. Doing it like this. But that's okay. When in doubt, just invade Egypt. There you go. Thumbs up for me. Cool. That was... Fun. Oh, no. Come on. Guys, guys. Really, really. Cool. Let's do the Hayvaladin Pasha facility of faculty of research. The rapid industrialization of our nation has opened up new opportunities in R&D that we should pursue. We have a unique opportunity of establishing the Kadarlu Kara Halil Hayvaladin Pasha faculty of research in Bursa to be dedicated solely to advanced theoretical research. Cool. More propaganda? That might not be bad to do, actually. Eh, we'll do it anyways, because we can. Keep more building more cities and infrastructure. 40? 40? I love Aleppo. Oh, guys, this was supposed to be for us. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, stuff in here we have to deal with. Oh, god dang it. I wanted them. Because we can. And they're in our way. The fall of Paris. Cool. 
Do we have any other options? Suppress military factions. I do want to eliminate corruption before we end the campaign, so. Yeah, that was actually great. That was awesome. I love it. I don't trust the Bulgarians, so maybe we'll put you guys right here. I'm mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of resistance to deal with. Maybe we should get some military police. Oh, that's a lot of guns. Wow. Screw it. You guys are going to be uh, like this. Nice. Anti tank. That's not bad. Just convert everyone here who's like this other infantry type. As much as great as I love you guys. Um, there you go. No, not that one. Not that one. There you go. Compliance? Well, it's slowly going up. Resistance? It's also slowly going up. Actually, if that's the case, let's create an intelligence agency. Oh, I like this. That's kind of cool. So we can get at least a spy so we can help put down resistance. Um, what are y'all up to? Are you just kind of hanging out? What you doing, guys? Just going to train. I wonder what other foreign diplomacy missions we have, but... Hey. Cool. Everyone's killing each other. Love it. So we're done with this stuff. Uh, other than that, fight the corruption. It's become clear that the Ottoman Empire will not be cured of its illness as long as corruption lives on. Sooner or later, one of them must destroy the others. And give us time to take out Abyssinia. Oh, hello. No one likes Austria, huh? Ah, uh, the Berlin Pact. I, I think we do get an option to eventually fight the Belgrade Pact, which I kind of want to do at this point. So, Ah, fourth research slot. I love it, my friends. We need military police, though. And better planes. And better stuff. Just period. So, Asia expansion. Pakistan and Afghanistan. Yeah, I want to do this one. Oh, wait. What do you mean? The Arabian League has been defeated? We defeated them. Uh, I think this might be a bug then. Yeah, we've defeated them, so... Uh, join austria Hungary against the Balkan League. Backstab the Balkan League. Yeah, I think that's a bug, actually. Because we, we, we literally capitulated them and we defeated them. So we didn't get an event for it, but still... Oh, wait, hold on. No? Okay, yeah, maybe it is a bug. Like, because we have the we literally have the decisions here to do it, so backs have the Balkan League? Hmm. How strong are these guys? How many more days? We got... Uh, can Austria-Hungary hold for that long? Because it shouldn't take too long to kill these guys off, right? We need some air... We need some more... Oh, well, we need some more infrastructure down here. First of all. And some plane air bases. There you go. Uh, just do that. That one. That would be fine. Uh, yeah, cool. I'm going to keep investing in this so we can get some... So we can at least get one more guy here. Infiltration assault. Great. Let's grab some night assault tactics. So, so far I haven't raged. So, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I don't know about you guys, but you know what? Feeling pretty good about this. Now we don't have any artilleries, which is not very good. Nice. There we go. Keep filling them up with uh, more military factories for now. Anything else? Backstab them. We definitely, definitely, definitely will. As we'll hopefully be trying to fight corruption. It's not good to have corruption. Usually not, at least. Oh, yeah. We're listening, lacking some artillery. Oh, good, 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 good. Yes, please. Help put down resistance somewhere. Probably Egypt or Tehran. We do have Mecca, I guess, technically, so that's kind of nice. Um, I guess we'll do this area. There you go. So yeah, it's going down. I love it. Proof computing machine. Very nice. Grab some radar. Would not be bad. Let's get some better planes, maybe. Planes are always good. Oh, what the heck? Are you guys... Oh, that's a big China. Oh, they actually gave up their little slot there. Huh. All right. God, it sucks to be Austrian, doesn't it? <clears throat> and we have about a few more months left. That's not too bad. Um, we could help them out, but... Uh, ooh, backstab the Balkan League. Greece, Romania, and the Kingdom of Serbia. Hmm. Where did that decision go? Or anything? Oh, well, I guess technically... Ooh, another battleship. Or really, battle cruiser. If we do this, let's stop training our guys, maybe. Nice. Cool. Go and do that. And go here, too. 
Obviously, we could probably take our capital out if we went to war with them. I'm going to backstab them. Hopefully, we just hold the line against the Greeks. It's Romania, Serbia, and Greece, so... We could fight them. Battle inequality? Yes, we could probably do this one. That's probably good. Prepare for a desert war? I guess that wouldn't be bad. Let's do everything over here. Battle inequality, though. The people are upset with our dissolution of the parliament. Well, we didn't get rid of parliament. We actually empowered the parliament. We can show them it was the right choice with a swift passage of laws and battle inequality within our nation. Suppress military factions? For 90 days, we lose some things. Removed. That's not bad. That's pretty good to do, so... Yeah, we'll try it anyways. Why not? Cool. All right. Planes. Resolving inequality. Oh, choose that one. In an attempt to modernize the nation to the 20th century, but also stay loyal to our values, we have been brought to a halt with the question of resolving inequality within our nation. While giving equality would surely be a popular move, it may also be seen as a sign of weakness amongst those in our government. Furthermore, it would be a popular move to the major democracies in the world, and could be a step in repairing our relations with them. Should we grant the people the right of full equality, or should we keep it how it is? We're not socialists. Um. Eh, just resolve it, why not? Screw it, why not? Alright, so should we should be able to war very, very soon, actually. It's probably not going to go very, very, very well for us, but we'll see what happens. They don't have that much manpower, actually, so that's good. How many more days do we have to wait? About a month? Holy crap, that's a long time. Roman department. Yeah, keep building more roads. Build up them air bases, them roads. Uh, do we need more planes, actually? Uh, for more, some more fighters, yes, that's good. At least we'll have air superiority fighting in the unfortunate mountains, but that's okay. How much artillery are we lacking? About a thousand pieces. Oh, Italy's just, just, just destroying them. Wait, where did the thing go? I thought we were going to go to war with these guys. I clicked on the decision, right? Um, are we not going to fight them? Do we? Okay, this is very weird. Um, yeah, that's a little bugged. Okay, backstab the Balkan League. Oh, we did one of those. Pakistan. Oh, can't go to war with Pakistan and Afghanistan either. Man, what the heck? I hope we can. Chief of the army. I mean, defense is probably really good to do. So we'll grab that one. Because that's really, really good. Oh, there we go. Let's go for war immediately. The longer we wait, the stronger they become, so. Any air support yet? Looking relatively okay, especially since we're fighting mountains. Oof. If there is gun. Well, that's not good for them. Uh, do Serbia, I guess? At least all three of these guys, maybe? Hmm. Passive defense, maybe? Very odd, very odd. We've lost probably a few thousand, two thousand. Oh, we've killed 20,000 of them. That's not bad. Nice. Any other upgrades? Should have probably invested in a few more Mountaineers, but whatever. Infantry expert, that's fine. Oh, nice. Very nice. Another division? Throw them right there, I guess. Cool, not bad. We're losing quite a few fewer soldiers than I imagined so far, so not bad. 10,000 versus 40,000. That's not too shabby, I would say. And to get some air XP, which I love, 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 love. Help them out. Just put them down. Put them down. They're, oh, we, we got ransom. Nice. Adidas. Adidas? No. Adidas Ababa. Oh, yeah. We're definitely losing a lot of strength here, but, you know, it is what it is. Penny incident. Cool. Battle inequality. And then prepare for a desert war, perhaps. If war is to come to us, it will most likely be in the desert. We must train our army there so they can become accustomed to it. Nice. Lost about 14,000. That seems like we've lost more than that, but that's okay. Wow, we were really searching far and wide. All right, Abyssinia. I don't feel like giving them any sort of thing like that. I'll go take it. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Military place is nice. 1940. Ottoman nuclear technology, because why not? Still need some more artillery, but that's okay. Um. All right. Actually, I have a good amount of air bases up there too. Fall of Kiev. Wait. Oh boy. Yeah, this is weird. Oh. Well, there goes the French. We got more guns now too. Um. Resource-wise, we didn't get much except a little bit more rubber, which actually is not too bad. Uh, yeah, it's not looking too bad. The Germans have Kuwait, alright. Well, as you can tell from the video, 
title. This is uh, pretty much the last episode, I guess, because there's not much else to do here. I mean, I love the, the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. It's pretty quick. We go through things pretty darn quickly, which is actually really, really nice. It keeps my interest a little bit more engaged, so. Yeah, seeing Austria end up like this, not 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 great. That's okay. We didn't even finish our land auction yet. That's alright, too. Let's see, Fighter 1s, Fighter 2s, love it. Get some air doctrine, maybe a little bit. We're getting, building a lot of roads, which isn't bad. Aliaba. Glitzel Dumeria. Oh, poor Austro Hungary. Oh, the Berlin Pact. Cool. Actually, build them right there first. There you go. Yeah, I mean, the Ottoman Empire, as long as you take out the Egyptians, no one really complains. Oh, we have a lot too much resistance here. Hold on. We'll do that just to let them move. There you go. And I'm going to send you guys to Somalia because, well,. Who doesn't love taking out Somalia? After that, uh, I didn't even do any of this stuff, which really kind of sucks. Develop Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia is another major region in our empire that must not be neglected while we are developing our country. Cool. Cool. And I'd like to give more political power to do this as well. Oh. Treaty of Budapest. Austria has fallen far. Oh, boy. Yep, but they're still being, being up by the, those guys. I think it's Germany sometimes, too. Hmm. Do they have the Kaiserreich flag or yeah, there is that flag. Kind of handsome, Kaiserville the second von Preussen. Nice. It's still they're oh they're fighting Austria too. What the heck? Whoa. Hmm. Smooch. We love our guys. So, but happy 1941, everyone. I hope you're having a great, great year. Put down some more resistance. And Tehran's coming down as well. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. That's a lot of territory, even though it doesn't seem like. There's that really that much over there, so not bad. And we rebuild Ottoman intelligence. Why not? And we remove the decline of the empire. Oh, okay. Compromising constitution. Ottoman high command. I mean, I think we. I think we've done really, really well. White Ruthenia. Oh boy. Oh, now they're going to kill each other off. Okay. Decline of the empire will be gone. So give ten percent more stability. Prepare for a desert war. But I mean, I'd love to go to war with Afghanistan and Pakistan. Why is Pakistan? Why do they own Kashmir? Hmm. That might upset a few people. Well, now that's not a bad Germany. That looks really ugly. I'll be honest. But now, you guess Serbia's looking pretty thick. Uh, the Russians, I don't, I'm not sure if I would have really done that Russia. I would probably went to war a little bit earlier with the Germans just because... Well, now it's a one-front war for the Germans, and usually they can win their one-front wars. Usually. Not always, but usually. I'm looking pretty good here. Maybe we'll grab a little bit more steel, maybe, from the Germans. Maybe get uh, a touch of steel. Maybe we'll grab a touch of tungsten from these guys as well. And maybe a touch of aluminum from the German Empire as well. There we go. Up our construction up efforts out. 100%. Wow. I'll do it right there, then. Build, 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 build. Cool. This guy looks just a little bit happy. Mehmet Kazim Pasha. Cool. And expand the central industrial region. By expanding your industrial regions, we're able to produce more and build more things. I just want to go to war with these guys and kill them off and then end the campaign. Just because we can. Just because we can. We need to own the Horn of Africa. Got about a month left. Not bad. False. Okay, then. The, okay, if the Italians invaded. Okay, wow. Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. Just keep building, building, building. We have enough supplies for almost everything except support equipment, of course. But when and when do we not have enough support equipment? And actually, let's see. Do we have enough of this? No. Technically, yes. Yes, yeah, very nice. Improve infantry equipment. It is forty-one. So let's grab some more output, perhaps. Cool. I love. I like I said earlier. I love that we can just push so fast into like these campaigns. And it does make me more interested. It, it's a little bit more fun that way, too, at least in my mind. Nice. If you want to, actually, do that. So we don't need to make nearly as much guns. So hopefully we don't need nearly as much steel. So, there you go. Way less guns, but hopefully put the steel somewhere else. And we'll finish this campaign taking out the Somalis. Well, do they even have any divisions? They don't. Not bad. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Mogadishu will be ours, and the Ottoman Empire has basically been reunified. Are even stronger after the war. Hmm. Actually, there might be an event if we do this one fast enough, or we'll just wait for that. So, we'll see. 
Uh, yeah, just go to Mogadishu, guys. I don't think they're really going to be complaining about anything about this, so. Mogadishu, thank you. Ah, Somali Sultanate. So we'll see if there's an event after we complete this last little decision here. Uh, we could take out these guys too, but we're looking pretty good. I mean, we could probably take out Oman, which would probably be a smart idea, but... Eh. For this campaign and its purposes, I think we've done what, exactly what we wanted. I'd love to go to war with Afghanistan, though. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think we could do another focus, why not? Develop the national arms industry. We need to expand our uh, military industry. By developing our already existing national arms industry, we can do just that. And Mex why'd you go to war with Mexico, guys? We finished almost our land auction. Cool. And do we get that one done? Oh, we got two days left. Hopefully we get an event. No? Okay. Well, I guess that's going to be it then. No event, nothing like that. All right, then. Well, I guess that's going to be the campaign, my friends. If you enjoyed the campaign, the relatively short campaign, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow or later today in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.